Hi friends, it's me G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I am, as usual, overly excited if there were any such thing, okay? I am excited to the fullest because I am here, I'm breathing, I'm alive, right? What's not to love? Okay, so I'm back at it again. I have some more crazy topics for you. Um, and this is nothing really like out of the box that I don't normally talk about. So I just wanted to elaborate on some of these things. Okay. That is what this is all about. How to live your best life in full. Okay. So a lot of you who do follow me like on different social media platforms, you know that I am very big for living your best life. What does that even mean for a lot of us, right? So this is my definition of what that means to live your best life, okay? Number one, again, I don't have no big, big script or any big, huge book that I'm reading out of. These are my experiences, things that I've learned, that I've grown to love, and that I've found very, very useful in my life, okay? So here we go. Number one is minding your business. <laughs> I cannot say that loud enough. Mind your business, okay? Yes, thank you, universe. Mind your business, okay? Minding your business means that you are clear, you're focused, you're not worried about what's going on over there, you're not worried about what he said or what she said or what somebody else is doing, right? You are focused and you are so focused that you can't help but to just mind your own business, right? See, I noticed that when people are not in full alignment with whatever it is that they are working toward, their goal, spiritual alignment, love, relationships, whatever they are going after, when you are in full alignment and when you are in full effect, going hard, manifesting whatever it is that you want, you cannot afford to lose focus, okay? So mind your business at all costs. Do not engage in things with people or activities or situations that will dampen your mood, your energy, your level of awakening, right? You have to remain focused. So mind your business. Also, I find that, um, like, when I hear sometimes when I listen to conversations, like, people just naturally love to talk to me, right? Like, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate where people will just stop, start talking to you out of nowhere. They'll talk to you. They'll be like, let me tell you what happened to me that today. They're really, really frustrated. In that moment, okay, you can decide to be an ear. You can listen. But what I've learned with that process is that, Whatever you're listening to, therefore, is now in your mind, which means that now you're thinking about it, you're processing those thoughts, and, you know, the deeper level of you can either say, like, your soul, rather, like, your heart can say, I'm not interested in that, I don't want to hear anything negative, right, but... We're so human, again, we're so human, and we make so many mistakes, and we forget that we are focused, right? We forget that we're supposed to be focused and minding our business. So what we do is we tend to get in, involved in those conversations. So that is what happened to me a lot, right? Like, I would find myself um, being engaged in conversations that did not um lift me up really in any kind of way like it's not like my vibration went from here to like through the roof when i would hear these um stories about other people whether it was gossip or just a basic conversation it could be about anything someone's health someone's life someone's baby daddy drama right like i was in full control and i had to decide okay am i going to continue to because you can't say I'm not that type of person, or I don't gossip, but then you like to hear gossip. So you are what you speak of. You are what you eat. You are what you preach, okay? And so if you are constantly saying, I do not gossip, I do not gossip, that is not my thing, I mind my business, I live my life, and you have that individual unknowingly, or maybe even knowingly, bringing distractions into your world, okay? At that moment, you can decide if you want to engage in that conversation and partake in gossiping, 
right? Or you can choose to say, well, I can, I can see how that might interest you, right? And then you can lead the conversation with, well, you know what? Let's not focus on that, honey. Let's, how was your day today? You know, I find that you don't necessarily have to be rude about it. Like, you don't have to be nasty or rude with telling others that you don't want to gossip, right? Like, I noticed that because I like to talk, a lot of people naturally gravitate to me that like gossip, and it drives me mad. I'm like, ugh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> and I don't want to be rude, right? Because I just wasn't raised that way. I don't want to be rude, and I don't want to hurt their feelings. So what I can do is at least... You know, while they're talking, of course you don't want to be rude. So you're listening, right? You're like, okay, you're letting them vent because I get it. Some people need to vent, right? They want to vent, fine. But people are venting to you because you opened that portal. Like, you opened that that gateway, that window. You, you opened it up. You said talk to me, right? So naturally, a lot of people are going to talk to you because they think that that's what you want. They think that... You want them to just talk to you. Yeah, talk to me without dampening my spirit, okay? So first thing first is minding your business, minding your own business. Look, I, girl, I would love to chat with you today, but I got something I need to get to. I got something I need to take care of. Is there any way that we can touch up on this topic later or can I call you? Can I email you? Oh, good, okay. Right? That's the first thing, minding your business. You do not want to partake in anything because what I find is that people get... Caught up in it, you ever hear those people say like, okay, well, if you not had nothing to do with it, then why she felt so comfortable talking to you, right? Mm. Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> so a lot of times I've learned that it's even better not to even ask people how their day is going. Don't even ask that. If you want to totally block out negative entities, let me tell you. I mean, I know it sounds crazy to some of you right now, but I'm telling you. Don't even ask someone how their day is going. <laughs> You'll be surprised what the average person is holding on in their heart or holding into their mind or in, in just something just not setting right with them. You'll be surprised what people are holding their heart to, okay? Don't even ask them, how was your day? Don't even do it. You can say, you know, well, okay, well, that's good. You know, that's great. Now, if somebody just naturally say that to you, then that's one thing, right? They just naturally telling you how their day is going. Oh, that's great. That's I'm glad that it's all working out for you, okay? But don't, if somebody says, now, girl, let me tell you, I was so frustrated today at work. This person did this and this person did that, and they're just going on a rampage, and they're just telling you all, everything, right? And you don't want to be rude. So you're like, wow, that's crazy. I'm sorry that you're going through all those things, right? Or like you don't have to say, really? Oh, she was wrong. Because if you say something like that, then now you're edging them on. And now they want to tell you more because they naturally just want you to be on their side. But I truly, truly have learned that the best way to just totally stay happy and to live my best life is to simply mind my business. It's not that I'm, I mean, some people may even call it selfish, right? Look, I, I'm sorry that they're going through that, but right now I'm focused on my money. Time, baby, time takes care of all things. Look, if I'm in the midst of something, I do not have time to listen to your drama or your headache or anything else that is causing pain. I want complete happiness, which means I, I understand what you're going through and I understand what you're dealing with. But right now, I am focused on something and that energy is only going to deter me away from what I'm doing. And I cannot focus on that right now. So we need to catch up at a later moment right and what that means is that you're not totally saying no I don't want to talk to you what you're saying is that when I'm done doing what I'm doing or when I'm done focused on what I'm focused on I will get back to you right and keep your promise another beautiful way to live your best life try your best to keep your word there's nothing more faulty or anything that is more distracting or more disturbing than you know trying to deal with someone when they don't believe in keeping their word I found it very fundamental to try to be as upfront and honest and to keep your word as much as possible, okay? You may not always have all the answers. You may not have all the resources, but try your best. If you can't do something, don't be afraid to say no, okay? So yes, that is the next thing. Don't be afraid, guys, okay? You cannot... 
be everything for everybody all the time. So don't be afraid to say, no, I can't do it right now. However, if you know that you can and you have actually told someone what you were willing to do and that you are more than happy to make it happen for that particular individual, then yes, by all means necessary, try your best to keep your word. If you say, I'm going to call you at 3 p.m., and it's now 2.50, you may want to shoot a simple message. Hey, are we going to still chat at 3, right? Or say things get caught up. I get it, especially those of you who run businesses or have children. Life happens, right? Things get in the way. I mean, you can't always control time, right? So things just sporadically happen all the time. So what's going to happen is this. Something happens, you know you had a call at 3 o'clock or you had a meeting at 3 p.m., for example, right? And that's one of my favorite numbers. So, yeah, so you know something's supposed to happen at 3 p.m., right? However, something dramatically just happened. What you want to do is now you want to follow up with them. Hey, you know what? I'm really sorry that I missed this meeting or I'm really sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Something drastically happens. You know, call them up if you can or at least message them. The way that technology is these days, there's no excuse why we can't just simply shoot a, shoot a message Call someone up on the phone, email someone, or simply um, at least reschedule. You know, don't be afraid to say, look, things happen. I got jacked up. I'm sorry, but I'm willing to reschedule our date. I'm willing to, you know, recompensate you, whatever it is, right? I'm willing to not recompensate. I'm willing to compensate you, whatever it is. Let them know that you do value them, that you do appreciate them. There's nothing more rewarding than at least trying to keep your word or at least trying to keep your promise and you're not able to, but you still have common courtesy to let them know, look, I still am want to do this for you i'm still going to try i'm still doing some research i'm still working on it but i did not forget about you what that just did was show this person that you value them and you value you know their time you know and that you are sympathetic so now in the future they'll say you know what even though that person was late to our meeting even though they did have to cancel they did call me you know they did email me they did show up and say that they were sorry you know they did compensate me for my time and effort or they did reward me with something. So I think it's always good to, to, even if you try and something happened and you can't, right? Always try your best to follow up with that person to show that they do matter, that you do value them as a person, that you value their time and their efforts. That is another key to living your best life because people don't always buy your products or your services or people don't always get in relationships because they just want to get in a relationship. A lot of times people get involved with you because of you and your presence and the things that you deliver and the things that you give out. So they go by your energy. And so part of living your best life is minding your business, okay, and trying your best to be honest up front and keeping your commitments as possible there's nothing greater than that okay so some of the things that i found really helpful was i mean aside from minding our business i found that was like number one to me okay <laughs> that was like number one because i cannot tell you guys how many times people come to me with things and talk to me about things that i just don't give a damn about like i'm not trying to be mean i just i just don't care like Hmm. And, and this follows up on my next thing about, you know, when you're like, and I talk about this in multiple videos, right? Like when your mind is focused on what God is giving you and when you're focused on the prize, you don't have time to worry about everybody else. You just don't, you know, the Bible talks about that all the time. You know, when you're going at the, what God has planned for you and when you're living in your divine purpose, right? And you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You, you will be so focused on what you're doing that you won't even have time to really sit and gossip. Like, I had, I had someone call me a lot of times, like, a lot, or even message me a lot about the same, same situation over and over and over and over again. They just wouldn't stop. And I'm like, in my in back of my mind, I'm like... Who can really stress and obsess about these situations over and over like this? Like, I just can't. I don't have the energy to do it. Like, I, and maybe, and again, I guess this goes in, in the process of just, you know, being awakening, like awakened spiritually or um, 
I guess, or like most people will call it, like being spiritually guided or saved, you know, like most Christians like to call it. Like when you're in that, when you're in connection, like with source, the energy is just different. I can't explain it. Like when your third eye, like your third eye chakra is like open to the universe. And like once your third eye chakra is open, like everything changes. Everything changes. Like nothing looks the same. It's kind of like... You know, again, what Christians would call it is like being born again or being saved. Like, the world just doesn't look the same again, right? Like, you're, you're in a whole different dimension, <laughs> a whole new wavelength. And it is hard to, to embrace all the negative entities when you're, you're just seeing all this positive light. You're like, wow, you know, wow, God is beautiful. Wow, the universe is so amazing. It's constantly blessing me in abundant ways. And it's just so addictive, right? Like, who wants to deal with that when I got all this? Like, it just, I, I just don't understand it. So because, I mean, I can, I try to understand it. And like I said, I'll listen, but I'm also very conscious about what I'm listening to. Like, even when it comes to my music, right? Like, even when it comes to music, guys, I am very conscious about what I am listening to. I'm very conscious about what people are saying to me and what they're telling me and what they're feeding into my spirit. I'm very conscious about that. If I think that's something or if I even feel, because it really it starts with the feeling with me, right? If I feel anything that is not right. So what that means is that anything that is not in connection with my divine soul and with my spirit, anything that is not serving me well, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, like if it's not helping me to grow, I'm not doing it. So that is the whole point of this. I'm not doing it. I'm going to free myself. I'm going to free myself from bondage. I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to be careful about the things that I listen to. My mother used to tell me that all the time. Stop listening to that type of music. It's negative. It's full of the devil music. It's this, it's that. And I used to do it anyway. But that was up until I understood what I understood. And now, even though I don't focus so much on religion, I'm still very conscious about the things that I listen to or that I allow others to put into my ear. So if you notice, even the Bible talks about this too. When you're around... A negative individual or a person that seems like a vampire, uh, energy vampire, right? Like, um, you can be really happy, positive, uplifting, high vibration, right? You kind of feeling yourself. You know the universe got your back, so you feeling really good. And then you go around someone and they're like, man, I just, I hate this fucking job, right? Like, they're just constantly complaining. If you notice, your energy begins to shift, and it's not necessarily because of things that they are saying, but it's because their whole aura is very like, bleh. like their whole aura is just very bland and depressing. And is again, when you're vibrating and you're in a high vortex and you're excited because you know the universe got your back, it's so difficult to be in that aura. Now, I'm not against it, and I don't talk against it, but I learned to separate myself. I'm still shedding love and light into the universe. I'm still letting these people know that I love them, that I value them, that I care, right? And I try my best to be there, but it's a difference. I don't allow them to take over my spirit. And when you understand that you are spiritual before you are human, things naturally begin to flow. So that is how you can start living your best life. You have to start with self, self-care, self-love, gratitude, forgiveness, being thankful. Oh, it's a difference. And that's going to be another video. But trust me, it is such a blessing. When you get to that higher place spiritually, Nothing else matters because your focus, your minding, your business, you're making your money. Even if you don't have no money, you're still happy. You ever seen those people? Because I'm one of those people, right? Like my vibration will be way up here, even though my money could be down there. But mentally and spiritually, I don't feel like my money is down there. I feel like my money is like through the roof, right? Because I, I live my life mentally rich, right? 
because that's also another video. But again, you want to live your best life. You it starts with self. Be connected. Be connected. It starts with you. Source is in you. God is in you. So it starts with you. Spreading love and light starts with you. If you want that, you have to begin to pour that out. So I love you guys. I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I really hope that this video was useful. I hope that you found it interesting, intriguing. Please like and share and subscribe. Keep up with me, guys. I will be doing so many more videos. I have so much to talk to you all about in 2019. You have no idea. I love you. Mwah! And I love you again. And I love you some more. And I love you again. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> all right.